this brief video I will talk about femoral hernia and describe why it is important to recognize this hernia early and once recognized it ought to be repaired surgically. Um, let's just look at the line drawing of the abdomen and let's assume that this is the rib cage, uh, this is the belly bottom, this is the groin crease and the hernia rises within the groin crease towards the midline and maybe the main lump may be just a little bit below the groin crease. Uh, the symptoms are the same as any hernia. It, could, it may not have any symptoms, just a lump. It may initially go back inside and disappear when the patient lies down. And it may cause other symptoms such as pain, dragging pain, burning and so on. Um, so, uh, let's look at the anatomy and see why this hernia is dangerous. At the crease of the groin, there are two important structures, uh, one in red and one in blue, that enter the groin from the abdomen. One is the femoral artery and the other is the femoral vein. Next door to the femoral vein is an area that is dead space and normally just has a lymph node and nothing else. This is an area of potential weakness, as I'm pointing out over here, where a sac from inside the abdomen can traverse it and appear at the crease of the groin just below in, in at the top of the thigh as a lump. The reason this is dangerous is because just here um, where it enters the groin below the ligament of the groin is the neck of the sac. The neck is very tight. It's a very tight space. So anything that is traversing this has to go through this tight space and hence is there is a high risk of strangulation. So if this hernia is suspected clinically sometimes it's not a straightforward diagnosis, then an ultrasound scan uh, may be performed uh, which would diagnose it. Once diagnosed, uh, a patient ought to be referred to the general surgeon to consider a repair. Uh, under a general anesthetic, the repair uh, can be performed as an open operation and there are several approaches to that. One is to make an incision directly on top of the hernia if, if it's not strangulated reduce the contents and then repair that with a suture or with a mesh. Other open approach is to make an incision higher up in the belly and then to approach it from within, reduce the contents and again repair it with suture or a mesh from the inside. The preferred approach these days is keyhole or laparoscopic. Uh, and that is because it offers a better visualization and you can pick up other hernias in the groin if they are present. So an incision typically is made above the belly bottom. Uh, a camera is inserted and the abdomen is filled with gas. The camera can have a very clear view of this area. Further ports are inserted uh, and instruments uh, are then uh, put into the abdomen to conduct the operation, which basically means reducing the hernia back um, identifying its edges and then inserting a mesh and then covering that mesh with a layer of peritoneum which is the lining of the abdomen to protect it from the bowel and thus, and thus completing uh, the operation. So my personal choice, uh, especially in females, would be a keyhole or a laparoscopic operation for non-strangulated hernias. Where strangulation is suspected, uh, then a bigger operation may be required to deal with the contents which may, may have dead, dead bowel uh, and hence uh, a bigger cut is required sometimes. So this uh, culminates our short talk and femoral hernia and I hope that uh, this has been of some use to you. Thank you.